Hello guys and welcome back to Globitz Gaming Channel. Uh, I've had this replay sent in to be my uh, by the end. Um, he's a chap I met on uh, a friend of mine's live stream, um, and they're playing on Lake Villain Standard Battle, and he's in his IS3. Um, basically, just a bit of background on him. I've only met him a few days ago, uh, and basically, he is a long-time live streamer with a guy called Melanthius. Um, and basically, uh, he's a fledgling live streamer, and he actually did a 20-hour. Um, that's it. Yeah, a 20-hour live stream in support of Help for Heroes and Cancer Research, which was an amazing cause. Um, I came across the live stream by chance, uh, just flicking through Twitch. I just thought, you know what? I'll check this guy out. Um, and he was wearing a Royal Anglian Regiment beret um, on his video web camera. Um, and I'm actually from uh, ex Royal Anglian. So I, I was in the second battalion of Royal Anglian Regiment, the Poachers, and he was in the Vikings, the first battalion. So we got chatting, yada yada yada, and he basically said to me, do you know what, do you want to come and play a game? Um, and because he was going through the night shift, I said, you know what, yeah, I'll help you. And it turned into from half past nine in the evening until around seven o'clock in the morning, uh, we just played non-stop World of Tanks. Um, and I believe, I don't know the final figure, but he raised a lot of money um, for those charities, so hats off to him. Um, we've got several replays from the live streams, and what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to make a compilation video and post it up. Um, with a bit of either commentary or music, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to try to figure out how to um, how to overlay music onto these videos because um, I'm pretty sure you're all bored of me blabbering on, pretending like I know what I'm talking about. So he's gone into the town in his IS3. Uh, I'm going to let the replay play for itself. Um, for those of you from now on, um, I think I may have secured myself a reasonably uh, regular spot on Melanthius's world uh, live stream. So what I'll do in the description of this video, I'll uh, post a link um, to Melanthius's live stream. So I'd appreciate if all people that subscribe to me can also subscribe and follow to him. Um, give him a bit more player support base. Um, and if you fancy it and you're bored, just go check out his live stream. He's a, he's a, he's a nice guy. Um, he's got a pretty wicked sense of humour. Uh, and there's no egos. Yeah, so just go check him out. I like, he live streams every day um, from 8 p.m. onwards, um, and he plays a variety of games. He doesn't just play World of Tanks; he plays uh, War Thunder um, and mainly retro games. He started out as a retro gamer, so go check him out. Yep. KB1S there just meets his end by the hands of the end. Okay, now let's have a wee look see at the mappage. Look at that. Look at the valley. Oh dear. And the uh, friendly T32 starts screaming in chat. I don't know why he didn't take that shot on the T44 there, but never mind. I think he was getting bumped by his own team there. Uh, um, this game has actually inspired me to actually start grinding towards the IS3. I've currently got a KV1S. Um, I've got to get myself through the IS, which from what I've heard isn't actually that much of a bad experience. I've been told by a few people that the IS is just basically a KV1S on steroids. But. I'll figure my way through it once I've got to where I need to get with the things I'm grinding to because this thing is absolute beast of a tank. Um, now the end now is actually going back to cap um, to try and defend. Now just take a second and count how many tanks are down there. Um, there's one friendly T32 defending, crewed by one bolt or one bullet, sorry, one bullet senior, and he's coming flying back. Demonstrate the speed of this thing. It's reasonably quick. It's kicking out 38 kph, which isn't bad for a heavy. Okay, so he's screaming up. One bullet is absolutely just crying in chat. Please come back, help me. Help me, I'm going to die. So here he comes. Saving the day. Now I noticed he as well, he, he, he plays with his camera very, very close to the turret um, in third person view. And I don't actually do this, but I might actually start giving it a go. It looks like a really good way of getting your shots in but I might look at it so pull down position let's see what an IS-3 can do that's what we got T-32 IS-6 okay breaks his cannon he repairs it um, good idea because the accuracy on Russian guns isn't fantastic um, so we've got a Jagdagger 88 Centurion 1 an IS-6 and a T-32 I think there's a Hellcat there as well yeah, there is a Hellcat. 
and he's decided to switch to premium um, which is a, in my opinion a wise choice um, you need to make your pens on this one I personally if I'm trying to stop a cap I shoot HE for the first few rounds just to get some uh, not guaranteed but hopefully just you only need one point of damage to take away all the defense points um, and then he switches to the premium now look at the turret shots that this tank is taking he's absolutely look at it it ping you ain't penning that I think there's over um, I think it's over like 220 millimeters or 100 I can't remember the actual values it's a really ridiculously well armored turret and it's sloped to high heaven uh, it's just really really powerful now one bullet bless him um, he's taking some hits taking some shots um, the T32 is naturally weak hull at the front it's his only real weak point it's a hull down tank so he's down to 70 health artillery's going in there as well yeah, this is absolutely epic rescue it really is a really really good effort from these two guys they're outgunned okay they're outnumbered they're outgunned but they're playing to the advantages of their tanks uh, which is pretty much what it's all about know your tank know its strengths and yeah, play to them and Mr. One Bullet eventually bites the dust. Did the best he could. But it turns out it was enough. So it meant the enemy had this. Is a brilliant so now the cap Brilliant, brilliant clutch shot. Bang. And I always rate that it's always a good, good game when your enemy are congratulating you on a good scrap. Yeah, that to me is the epitome of yeah a good game when the enemy actually still agree even though they lose <laughs> it's fantastic so he's got a centurion shooting for the cheeks and a hellcat <coughs> bit more low ground around here not too sure about that one no. I don't know where that fire's coming from I assume it's from the IS-3 uh, which the super Persian should be engaging I think he eventually threw Pershing at the north does actually kill him in the end. He's taking some shots. This turret, however, is not impervious um, to damage, as we'll demonstrate in a few minutes. Uh, I think it's more of a lucky shot for the Centurion, but the Centurion actually manages to penetrate him. Oh. Unlucky, Mr. Hellcat. Unlucky. Yeah, we'll see in a few minutes as actually this turret is actually penetratable. Um, I believe the Centurion will possibly have been shooting gold ammo at this point if he's facing a, an IS-3 if he's got any. And the enemy T-44 <laughs> is actually encouraging uh, the ENDS team to actually clean up. <laughs> That's always a good sign. Or well, not so good sign if you're on the enemy team. So he's just sneaking, he doesn't know where that Centurion's gone doesn't want to get hit so he's got to hold down and bang you can even see it without me moving the camera yeah, top of the turret straight through I would assume that would be gold ammunition um, I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong but I think that was gold ammo And even the enemy artillery is having a go still. Okay, switch back to AP. Trying to get a sneaky turret shot. Can he do it? Can he do it? Makes the Centurion miss, and that is all she wrote. Oh yeah! I think that was an absolutely epic, epic, epic defence. Uh, well done, the end. Um, okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Again, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's Globit signing off. One thing I will say again: shout out to Melanthius. Go check out his uh, go check out his live stream. If you're not really into watching live streams, just subscribe and follow him uh, to get the numbers up. And occasionally, if you're not busy, just give him check him out. You may even hear me on there. Watch me fail. <laughs> okay, take care, guys. That's Globit signing off. Bye now.